Hey guys, Six Witch here. Oh shit indeed. Pigaboo. And we got an oh shit moment here. Fuck I died. So yeah, hey everyone, Six Witch here. And as you can see this mission went foobar. We are in the area around uh, Dome Mountain and the point here is to go with a sniper rifle and a gill suit and disrupt enemy patrols in general just causing a bit of havoc and having a bit of fun. The primary uh, reason for doing this is basically to play around with the Tac-50 without a suppressor on and um, we are playing no HUD with extreme difficulty as well and I just want to see how close I can get to the enemies and how they react to the gunshots and just what kind of fun I can have with this rifle out here uh, it was, it was, if I was playing <laughs> with the point of succeeding and not dying, uh, this is not the way I would go about things, but I'm here to have fun. So, uh, strap in and let's see what happens. This area is really nice. I like the uh, bushes, the open terrain, all the little pathways that the patrols walk upon, and it seems like they have a somewhat randomness to them. They will walk from one node point to another and then randomly go off in different directions depending on how many options they have. So you cannot 100% be certain that they will go a, a, a particular way each time and sometimes they will even reach a node point and turn around and go back. Anyway we got one patrol off there on the right, one straight ahead and I wanted to check out with my handgun again without suppressor if I could take down this patrol here with a rifleman and a drone operator without alerting the other patrol just gonna get up close and personal with them oh shit indeed and they're down and the patrol out on the right, didn't hear anything, so we good. Yeah, they oblivious. So I'm just gonna have a look down here. Change back to the Tech 50. So you can hear a drone is coming in. These civilian drone things. I turned these on in the game settings as well as helicopter patrols. It can get a bit gnarly uh, because they will randomly show up and you will have to go into hiding. And um, With no HUD there is no warning or indicator of how close it is to detecting you. And once it detects you it will drop off a handful of wolves and then everything will turn into, well, shit. I dodged that one though. And we can see the patrol. Freeman patrol moving around down there and I'm trying to get in a bit closer see if I can line them up. Got one guy out there next to a car that magically pops in when I use the scope. So that area over there we're gonna actually go there a bit later seems to be a bit janky like stuff will pop in and out and render a bit differently over there I don't know there's these places in the game where things just behave odd Anyway, we got two guys there with the motorbikes, and the three man patrol I'm stalking are over there. I'm trying to figure out if I could go down and perhaps take out these two guys first. But I decide, like, if I'm gonna take out the two guys and then I'm gonna have the three man patrol on my ass, so. And I also got the guys off to the right somewhere, the two man patrol that I didn't engage. So uh, I'm, instead, I'm just gonna circle back. Get a bit more distance and try and take down the Freeman patrol first. Go 
Oof. First shot. Second shot misses. This guy stops right there, that was stupid. And last guy down. So they're having an oh shit moment over there. Got the first guy, had to reload. Second guy, and there's a drop. Looks likely it's just gonna be some parts, but Yeah. I didn't plan on going down there, but now that there's a drop, you know, I gotta go check it out. Sliding. Get a nice mechanic, I like it. You gotta be a bit careful with it again with no HUD because you cannot see your stamina bar, so you don't know when the stamina is running out, and if you run out of stamina you'll start rolling and hurting yourself. So good though. So we got a patrol, a car. I'm trying to figure out if I felt comfortable shooting either the driver or the gunner. But the moving parallel to me and then it, it's just a bit too hard to, to call the shot, so I decide not to. Ah, there we got a security drone popping into existence. Next to where the car was popping in. I decided to shoot it, and I didn't realize there was an auto patrol coming, and the gunner heard me. Luckily he didn't see me. And this guy was absolutely rubbish, just hiding behind a tree, so he's gone too. Unfortunately someone behind me heard me, probably that two-man patrol. Instead of dealing with them, I'm just going to push forward. Go check out what that drone dropped. Um, we got some drops rendering weirdly. Again, th this area around this car just seems to be janky. Might be haunted. I don't know. So we got a car over there. Patrol. Three guys in the car. And I notice this guy there. You can see him through the car. There's one over the hood and one through the windows there. And I'm thinking, mm, I wonder if the TAC-50 can shoot through both windows of the car and kill that guy on the other side. Unfortunately, a chopper is coming in, so I'll have to wait just a little bit in case it hurt, hears me uh, shooting. I'm just going to wait for it to pass. And then we're going to do a peekaboo. Last round, though, so I had to reload, but I was well hidden. And, yeah, I didn't get a shot. Uh, a shot off, so I don't think uh, my position was given away there. Gonna run I wasn't sure if the guy on the other side of the car would have survived or not. Uh, uh, he was a goner, so that works. So I think there's some intel here. I'm gonna try and pick it up, and then yeah, this happens sometimes when you're playing without HUD uh, or indicators of what you're doing. <laughs> sometimes you will think something is intel or whatnot, and uh, I accidentally just jumped into the turret instead. That's a bit of a ball leg. Oh, magic rifle through the hood. This game is not perfect, but it's good. So there's this checkpoint up ahead, and I'm thinking, yeah, you know what, I got a good distance, um, might as well take them out from here. So what we, you would notice here is that I am firing at very close range with attack 50 at these guys in just a minute. And because they're not seeing each other get hit, they're like, oh, what was that? Is that the wind? And they're going to go investigate. Where in reality, if you were that close to attack 50 shooting, you would absolutely no doubt know that was a gunshot. Or perhaps a bomb. <laughs> so that guy's like, I'm gonna go check it out. And, um, yeah, that was dumb. So I felt that went pretty okay. Spot another guy there, and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna take him out as well. Just standing around like a knob. So, like, yeah. That's that's cool. So uh what always happens when thing goes wrong 
is uh, I get a bit too cocky. And that's what's going to happen here. Unfortunately, I'm going to get a bit cocky and I'm going to get away with it. And that's going to cause me to get even more cocky. And, and that's going to cause me to die. So I'm like, oh, there's this rocket guy there. Yeah, he's a goner. And then I spot the guy over in the garage there and he's like, yeah. Kaplow. Two other guys, and I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'll take them. Unfortunately, I'm not able to... Oh, I did get that guy. Oh yeah, here he comes. Then there's the patrol car coming. I'm like, I can hit the driver. Yeah, no problem. Oops. Oops. Well... Damn it. Well, at least I can get... Oh, god damn it, a sniper. Didn't see him. And then, ah, uh, mortar? Okay. Minigun? Yes. Check. Getting out of that one alive, I have no idea how I did that. And this is where I feel even more cocky. I'm like, hell yeah. I got away from a sniper, a mortar, and the minigun man, which is gonna like charge these guys. So I'm gonna fire another mortar at me and I'm gonna be like Okay, I'm gonna fall back, I'm gonna circle around and flank them. My big plan here. They're gonna go looking for me where they were shooting at me. It's the last place they saw me. I'm far enough away that like they won't notice me flanking them. Unfortunately, I'm in so much of a hurry that I forget to like keep a track of where the enemy is. So when I get out to the flank side, I have absolutely no idea where the enemy is positioned. So I have to start scouting. And this is where I like I make a big mistake because I should obviously have checked the rooftops. Like that's the closer you go to a base, you need to check out the rooftops and the guard towers. Because snipers, if they spot you, they will one shot you. Well, nope. I'm a cocky nub. I'm gonna go in. And I can hear the AIs like yelling looking for me and like, oh, look, look over here and stuff like that. So I'm, I feel confident that they don't know where I am. And based on the sound direction, I'm thinking they're down in the courtyard somewhere. And... <sighs> Bollocks. Sniper shot me and I'm down. So this is what happens. Playing no hard, on extreme difficulty, you're gonna die. And, hey, I'm gonna post videos when I die. That happens too. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, if you do, give it a, um, give it a like. Drop a comment. Six switch out.